Hello everyone. So we have our Don and Maui project over here and the Don and Maui solution. Um, what we're going to try to do today is try to make sure that if someone tries to commit some faulty code, like, you know, with formatting issues, that um, something like this, you know, where it definitely doesn't make any sense, uh, that we're able to fix it before it even gets into the pull request. So you don't have to tell the developer to fix it. Or even yourself, you know, you just don't care about the line spacing. You want your computer to do the work for you. So um, I'm just going to go in and open our project in VS Code just so that you can see the project structure and I can use the terminal. Uh, these particular steps are going to work if you have your project, your solution, and your Git repository in the same directory. So as you can see, this is where what I have. I've opened it. And um, first of all, just make sure that you have all the stuff installed. So you know, make sure you have the .NET CLI installed. Make sure you have Node installed. And make sure that you have .NET Format installed. <clears throat> so once you have these installed, you can get started. Um, the first step, you need a package.json file because we're using Husky in order to perform this action. So you can just say um, npm init dash dash yes. So I'm just going to hit enter. Notice how it added this package.json file. And then I'm going to install Husky. So it's just npx husky dash init and then install. So once you did that, notice how it installed and added known modules and it added this pre-commit file. <clears throat> once you're done with that, you just have to install lint staged so that it you're able to perform some action on the staged files. So you go into your node modules, go to your package.json. All you need to do now is after this, you can put it anywhere here, but I'm just going to place it after the scripts. So I'm just going to say um, lint dash staged. And then doo -doo -doo -doo. so I'm going to run this command for all my C sharp files. And uh, the command that I'm going to run is just .NET format. And then include basically just says only run the command for these files. So I just hit this, hit save. And now I go into my pre-commit file and I change this to instead of doing an npm test, which I don't really care about, I do a npx lint dash staged dash dash relative so, because it's just relative file paths that I care about. And that's it. So it's not too difficult. So, oh. And then also the one thing that you need is the uh, the environment file. So dot environment. So sorry, the editor config. So the editor config file is what um, uh, determines what rules you use. I think I put it in the wrong folder. Let me delete this. So it's just it's supposed to be in the main folder. Move. So it contains all the rules that you want to implement. So what kind of C-sharp formatting rules do you want to follow? So I just, you know, copy that, I hit paste. I'm going to send you a link, um, share a link in my article. And, you know, there's a lot of details in the article too that I strongly recommend you go through. Uh, but yeah, once you have that, you should, oh, I think I misspelled something. Yeah, it should be include. There we go. Save. So anyway, now that I have everything installed, I'm going to put this to test. Make sure that this does not get committed. You know, this is obviously terrible code. So I go here and I'm going to say test. Let's say com commit. And let's see. So it's, you know, performing the action. It's performing that .NET format. Um, and notice how it says, oh, there's an error. Because, you know, you try to commit something that, that there's no other change other than this formatting error. So 
I'm gonna say maybe let's say builders. So let me change this. So basically performed as needed. So let's see. Now I'm gonna to try to commit this. So now it should perform a commit, but the commit should be in a good format. So let's see. Yeah, so it performed the commit. Now let's test to see what it committed. Perfect. So notice how it did not commit the crappy code and it fixed it. Notice how it like fixed that file as well. But yeah, and then you can just push the file. But that's that's about it. Thank you for watching.